Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Corsair 7A today. You know why? Oh, maybe you do know, because we got four AMSs and it's, you know, in the last days of a challenge right now, last days of something that, an event that gives people free stuff, and as a result, they are trying to grind, they are trying to farm, and a lot of LRMs are in the sky, and therefore, we're gonna counter it today with four anti-missile systems. We're gonna take the good old rotary autocannon build today, we're gonna take the triple ruck 2 build, and we also have four medium lasers, which actually shoot at a quite decent range, that thing has crazy laser range quirks. Uh, you can see them somewhere in, in this clutter, I don't know. It's somewhere in here. Yeah, you know, we, we got laser range quirks. Believe me, we have that. Um, on top of that, we have a light engine 345, which makes the mech reasonably fast for an assault mech. We have decent cooling, again, four AMSs, a targeting computer for better targeting boost, and that's it. That is basically it. Let's take a look at the good old skill tree before we dive into the games. And as you can see, I was taking half of my firepower tree. I obviously wanted magazine capacity and the um, UAC jam ramp down duration rack thing. Um, and that is uh, because, you know, I want to unjam my racks quicker. No, I want to ramp down my racks quicker. It doesn't have an impact on the jam duration. On the ramp down duration, it has. And as a result, we can take three laser duration nodes on the way down. I'm always also going for maximum skeletal density and armor hardening since we are a stair down build, you know. We have to kind of uh, have sustained eye contact with our enemies in order to kill them with the rocks and therefore maximum survivability. Also, we are chunky. We have a big, big upper torso and we are an obvious target. I also take AMS overload here because we are running four of them and it benefits so much. We also have max cool run, 60% rate deprivation height, that's that deprivation, yeah? And a uh, double Kusha plus UAV today. And that's the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now and if you have that then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective and we are playing Domination. So let's get into the center of the map. It is actually quite interesting that we are taking such a small map here. So I don't know how many missiles we are going to destroy, but it was quite even with Grimplexus as well. So I have a feeling, based on the picking stage of the game, that there might be a lot of Lermers or ATMers or, you know, long range dudes. Because, you know, Grimplexus is a quite long range map early on until it becomes a horrible, horrible NASCAR. I should have actually kept my hand on my mouse and uh, snapshot the piranha, I think it was. Anyway, um, enemies, there's a big chance that enemies will be in the Echo 5 area. Okay, there we go. Gargoyle. Um, Mr. Grasshopper, do we push top? Question mark. There was a... Uh, executioner? Gargoyle? Gargoyle on the top. Let's get him then, let's go. Rock it up. Oh, poor Kid Fox. Um, oh, we didn't kill him. We can't go for the catapult, though. He's getting pushed by somebody. And actually, he is in range of my laser, so I should shoot them. And yeah, he has a lot of LRMs, but he's not gonna do any anything. We have our missile AMS ready. I don't care about the missiles that are coming from the outskirts. I'm just gonna, you know, chill and shoot. Shoot and chill. Chilly, chilly, shooty. Shooty, chilly. And there we go. All right. So, yo, um, I'm gonna put my own UAV up. Oh, there is an assault mech around here. Yeah, let's go for the gargoyle. Mola, what's he doing? He's pushing, he's pulling back, he's pushing, he's pulling back. He's doing everything at once. Here we go. He's dead. He's not dead. I'm still shooting him. Oh, sorry. All right. We keep shooting him. And we almost got him. Take top now. Let's go. We, ju we just be aggressive now. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? I don't know. Ah. All right, let's go then. Ah, this is scary. Oh, there's a stealth dude. Not anymore. All right. Yeah, I'll take top now. Let's see. Just suppressing this guy, and then we're gonna try to take care of the people up top here. Like the kid fox that we saw earlier. And then the commando. Oh, hello, mister. Where are my laser beams? I don't know. I should probably not go for the little guys, but instead go for the big guys that are right in front of us and have way more firepower. Alright, speaking of, that's a gargoyle, correct? Guys, I'm, to I'm on top. Can you get some help here? Alright, he's dead. Go for the big guy up top. It's not a big guy, it's just a panther, but he is a guy on top. Man, it's a 5 and 5 scenario. Echo 4, guys. Echo 4, check it out. Um, Let's go, turn around. There's a commander on top. He's probably gonna peek soon, but I want the mad cat. 
I'm gonna go to Echo 4, low ground. Uh, there's one guy in Fox 4, high ground. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, commando in our backs. Uh, not gonna go for this guy. This is my target. He was damaged earlier. See? Taking my priority straight. Uh, no, 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 no. Leave my left side alone. Oh. Yeah, speaking of. This is, this is tragic now. This is actually tragic. Alright, let's go for the commando then. Or the... Whatever we can hit, technically. We still have two rocks. So we're gonna use them. We also got two lasers. And I think at this point I'm just acting as a meat shield. Okay. Okay, okay, eight and five. Let's get on yeah. the side. The Warhammer killed our friend. Hello. Or maybe, maybe it was the commando. I'm gonna push that guy. I'm definitely gonna push that. Uh, he's going for a run through. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. But again, I'm gonna go for the bigger dudes, which are probably gonna kill me here. Hi. That's the last shot I can make. All right, so it's a 10 and 7 situation. We dealt like 800 damage in that and took 700 almost? That is insane. All right, man, this mech just works. It is so good. It is big and ugly and it's kind of weird, but hey, you cannot argue with what we just done. I mean, yeah, it's very situational as well. So sometimes you take the four AMSs and you have no missiles in the sky and you have just wasted tonnage, basically. But three rotary auto cannons too is already a pretty good build and we have four medium lasers on top of them with extended range so it's all about the commando and it's all about how quickly we can kill it mm, nice i like that i also liked how we killed the flea the stealthy guy who tried to be within the team cohesion and then we were like oh yeah there's like a dark spot in the heat vision let's shoot that real quick and then the flea popped G freaking G. We got four killing blows, six kill, most damage dealt, seven assists, three solo kills, 800 damage done, as I was saying, 700 taken, and about 500 missiles destroyed. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing Assault on the Frozen City, and we are... Actually, we are we are being super aggressive. Oh my god, look at that. Everybody's like, screw it, we're pushing. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go, guys, let's go. Yeah, we have a big, big... Big host going directly to the enemy space. Straight on. Echo 5. Let's go, guys. Ow. I'm taking hits. I'm taking hits. And I will probably take more of them. Uh, that's just a panther. I'm gonna watch that because um, the enemies will probably try to get on the high ground shooting us while we are making our assault happen. And yeah, this is assault mode. And we are assaulting their base. Man, this Orion really wants it. Holy crap. Um... We can actually drive a nice wedge between them. If we go to Echo 4-ish. Leave the guys on the left side alone. Concentrate on the right side. Something like that. UAV above you. Okay. I mean, they know that we are coming anyway. And I got AMS. So what can they do to me? Alright. Um, I'm pushing right side Echo 4. Oh, there's the light guy. The, the little guy. Stealth Locust on the board, by the way. Stealth Locust. Or Flea. Okay. Uh, I'm pushing in. Let's get the Assault Mac. Alright. Let's go! Sustain fire on the fast near. Down he goes. And then the guy in the back. Go for the Marauder in the back. I should probably lock onto him. Oh. Alright, and this is enough. Alright, let me move, let me move. Ooh, that was a bit scary. Can we get the Supernova Golf? Is Lerms? He has a lot of it. Oh, and he won't get anything done. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good shot. I should probably not shoot the Lerm Supernova that is not shooting at all and that is getting shot by everyone else. I'd rather suppress the guy in the back. And yes, I know, I'm gonna go completely, completely jammy. But... This is kind of working. I'm on Juliet, yeah, Arctic Wolf. He's coming back. Mm, I'm gonna drop my UAV here. He's probably coming up here now. But I'm ready! Copy that. I'm also a little bit overheating. Okay, 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 okay. So, that is a piranha, and I'm trying to get away from him as much as possible. Dudes, I've never thought that would work. We were just going in. We were like, okay, screw it. We are assaulting the enemies. They didn't know what was coming. We were too fast for them. They weren't they weren't grouped up yet at all. Uh, that's bad. That is really bad. I have nothing against these guys. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Okay. I need high ground, definitely. Let's push up. Let's rock it up. And get the piranha. And we liked him and we killed him. Perfect. 11 and 2. This is so crazy. 
Left side? Yeah, left side. Rock it up. Legs on the Shadow Cat. Or let's say side torso. Oh my god, this poor guy. Sorry, I'm blocking. I don't want to. And down he goes. Nice roll. Wow. What a stomp, guys. What a stomp. Again, the, the wedge, it kind of worked. Like, we were overwhelming the... No, it was actually a flank, more or less. Not a wedge. But, you know, we were picking a side. We were sticking to it. We were killing a bunch of people on that flank. And then we just escalated that. That was extremely well done. We didn't even destroy that many missiles here, but we dealt 700 damage, got two KMDDs, 500 damage taken. That's also pretty good, and we are still alive with six components destroyed. That was your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to your channel, to my channel, to your channel as well. Everybody, subscribe to every channel. Support me on Patreon if you like. Link is down below in the description, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.